Warm greetings to all the viewers. I, Abhipsha Panda, on behalf of Group 1 MBBS Phase 1 from AMC Bijapur, present before you the ongoing global pandemic, COVID-19. It all began with the outbreak of the deadly COVID-19. So what it actually is? It's a virus belonging to a group of viruses called coronaviruses, which cause severe respiratory tract infections in human beings also known as SARS-CoV-2 and COV-2019 novel coronavirus. Now, let's talk about where does this virus get its origin. The disease was first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, the capital of China's Hubei province, and has since spread globally, resulting in the ongoing 2019 coronavirus pandemic. Now, talking about the global scenario, as of 28th July 2020, the total coronavirus cases has reached to a high peak of 16 million in the world. However, India being one of the superpowers and the second most populous country in the world also has faced the wrath of coronavirus, which now stands at the third worst hit country with over 1.5 million cases. Now talking about the states, India's economic capital Mumbai has been the worst affected city among the lot. Mumbai alone has registered over 4 lakhs cases out of which 15,000 people have already lost their lives. The list is followed by Tamil Nadu and Delhi. Well now, let's take a brief look on the pathophysiology of coronavirus. Early in the infection, SARS-CoV-2 targets cells such as nasal and bronchial epithelial cells through the viral structural spike protein and enters into the host cells. Similar to other respiratory viral diseases, it infects and kills T lymphocyte cells in the host. Now, in later stages of infection, when viral replication accelerates, it infects pulmonary capillary endothelial cells, accentuating the inflammatory response. Inflamed lung tissues and pulmonary endothelial cells contribute to high incidence of thrombotic complications, in extreme cases also leading to myocardial infection and may further contribute to multi-organ failure. Let's now talk about the indications that show if a patient is infected by the novel coronavirus. The initial symptoms include fever, tiredness, dry cough, shortness of breath, headache, etc. Let's now burst a myth. It's generally believed by the netizens that if you come across a corona-infected patient, you might develop a symptom the very next day. But no way! It usually takes 5-6 to six days and sometimes up to 2 weeks to develop a symptom. So, it's advised to stay indoors. Until there is an effective treatment, maybe a vaccine or herd immunity, perhaps the most important thing a healthcare system can do to minimize the number of cases and deaths is a test. There are different types of tests for COVID-19, mainly the viral test and antibody test. The viral test tells you if you have a current infection and the antibody test tells you if you had a past infection. The various tests include RT-PCR test, NAT test, swab test, rapid antigen test and rapid antibody test. The race is on to find a vaccine to stop the spread of COVID-19 virus. As per WHO, more than 150 countries are engaged for vaccine trials globally, out of which 75 countries expressed interest to COVAX facility. The COVAX is co-led by Global Alliance for Vaccine and Immunization and WHO, working in partnership with other country vaccine manufacturers. Some of the vaccines undergoing trials around the world include Chadox-1 vaccine in UK, Ad5-NCOV in Canada, mRNA vaccine by Moderna, DNA vaccine in South Korea, Novavax and Sinovax are some other vaccine trial all over the world. In India, human clinical trials for coronavirus have been initiated with around 1000 volunteers as per ICMR. 
the representative of ICMR has stated that since India is one of the largest vaccine producers, it's the country's moral responsibility to fast track vaccine development process. India's first indigenous COVID-19 vaccine, Covaxin, is developed and manufactured in Bharat Biotech's PSL3 high containment facility. Some other major vaccine manufacturers are Zydus Adela's Zyco vaccine and Oxford University's Covishield. Mask is better than ventilator, home is better than hospital. Having said that, now let's have a look at some of the ways by which we can prevent coronavirus infection. Extraordinary situation requires extraordinary efforts. Amid the coronavirus pandemic, our healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, EMTs, support staffs, police officers, media personnel, custodial workers, and delivery personnel put their own lives at risk with selfless determination for the sake of saving our lives. They truly are our heroes. In this challenging time, who risk becoming infected themselves, who risk infecting their own families are making extraordinary sacrifices to care for the rest of us. While they are putting their own health, families and most importantly, their own lives at stake, the least we can do is appreciate their effort and cooperate by staying safe indoors. Everyone working selflessly for us for all your efforts, love and respect and heartful thanks to you all. We salute you. I thank all my team members for their kind cooperation and most importantly, thank you Swati ma'am and my college fraternity for giving us such a beautiful chance to showcase about the virus that is spread globally. Hope all of you stay safe.